What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I have Supernatural Lacquer's September releases. This consists of a quartet of magnetic polishes inspired by the Four Horsemen and the 2018 Halloween Limited Edition. These are already released in the shop, so I will have links in my blog post as well as below on purchasing these beauties. So let's get started. First up is the Halloween Limited Edition. This is Living Dead Ghoul. Official description is described as a black base with green to purple aurora shimmer, copper, orange, green color shifting flakes, blue, purple, and red color shifting flake, and red hollow micro shred. This is such a fun color to me. The finished look is so sparkly and just really blingy, but in a dark vampy type of way. Here on this second coat, you're gonna see those flakies just really come to life. And then there's that really big purple one there. I was so excited when I saw it. I was like, this needs to stay here so you guys can see just the multitude of different shapes and sizes of flakes and glitters and all kinds of fun things going on with it. I will say that I feel most people would probably get away with three coats on this one. I don't see any need to go further than that. Two to three coats I can safely say for anybody. I do like that third coat just to give it that nice thick appearance and um, just make sure I cover all my bases for any visible nail line. Even though this sucker is loaded with flakes and glitters and whatnot, I didn't have any texture after top coating and even that big giant beast beauty <laughs> on my nail here didn't give me any texture issues either. So now we're going to start in with the horseman. This is War. Official description is a rusty red magnetic pigment that reveals teal to purple aurora shimmer, blue-green color shifting flakes, and bright silver micro fleck when magnetized. There will be a bar magnet to purchase in the shop. Typically with magnetic polishes, you do need a neodymium magnet, which is a very strong magnet and it will easily pull all those pigments up to get that cat's eye effect. So here I'm going to use a bar magnet for all of my swatches and the video as well. I'm going to kind of turn this into a bit of a tutorial to show little tricks I've learned along the way of swatching magnetics and how to get that pigment line to stay. So you want to start off with building essentially a foundation for your overall look. You're going to want to do thin coats, whether it's one to two. Here I did two thin coats and then the third coat you want quite a bit of that pigment to be able to magnetize. So the third coat I went in quite heavy with it and overall it might feel like it's a bit much but just take my word for it, it's just fine. So I hold the magnet over my nail for roughly 45 seconds. I just quickly count to 45. I pull the magnet off and then I let it dry just for two to three minutes. That part is key right there to get your magnetic particles to stay and not have any slipping after you top coat. You want it to be decently dry and these all have very quick drying times on them so you shouldn't have to um, wait too long. Afterwards you use a quick dry top coat or any top coat really. I am using quick dry here um, just to really get all those glossy, that overall glossy look that makes the shimmers pop. So up next we have Famine. This is a deep blue magnetic pigment, revealing a magenta to green aurora shimmer, red purple gold color shifting flakes, and bright silver micro flex when magnetized. So like War, I'm going in with two thin coats. On that third coat, I'm going to go in a little heavy handed, and I'm going to hold that bar magnet, once again, roughly 45 seconds, and it's going to allow the pigments to come together and pull. Once again, I did wait a few minutes just to let it dry down before I top coated. This entire quartet, I think you can definitely pull it off wearing it on its own. I mean, right here you're seeing Famine by itself without the magnet, and it, I think it looks beautiful on its own. But when you do magnetize it, it is just phenomenal. 
in person, there's such a strong shift when you get it in shaded lighting. And there's just really, really nice Aurora shimmer here. And there's plenty, there's enough in the polish itself that you're going to see it very strong in the background of your cat's eye. On Famine, I didn't have any texture after top coating either. This one didn't have as large of flakes in it, but there is a plenty of different types and sizes of flakes and shimmers here. So really, really pretty. I think that was probably my favorite one in the quartet. The next polish is Death. This is described as a deep purple magnetic, which reveals red to green Aurora shimmer orange to pink flakes, and bright silver micro fleck when magnetized. So same type of application style here. I'm just building a bit of a foundation with this first coat going in real thin. I just want something to be able to start to build up my layer, so to speak. Second coat, I go in just slightly heavier. And then that third coat, I go in heavy handed. Death is really beautiful to me. This was another one that I really, really liked. Um, the Aurora shimmers just pop in it again. These are all in a tinted black base. So the background is going to be some sort of deep, dark looking appearance with your magnetic particles coming up pretty bright. This one has similar flakes to the other three and I think it just pops really, really well. And here you're seeing it before I magnetize it. And as you can see, I think you could also pull it off without the magnet if that's not your thing. Holding the magnet there. In these videos, I am speeding up the magnetic process, obviously. I am holding it the 45 seconds and just counting. I didn't have any texture after top coat on this one either. I think you're going to get the most bang for your shimmer, for lack of better phrasing, um, if you use a glossy top coat. I did not play with a matte top coat with these. I am a glossy girl. I prefer a glossy finish. And I think for shimmers like this, I, I want to see it have that sparkly effect on there. All four of these have a lot of movement, as you can see here. Um, that line or ring or however you decide to magnetize it, I think you're going to get tons and tons of movement. It's just really, really pretty. The final polish is Pestilence. This is described as a forest green magnetic pigment that reveals purple to green aurora shimmer, purple to green color shifting flakes, and bright silver micro flex when magnetized. So once again, starting off thin, and then I'm slowly building it up. The third layer is always the heaviest when I go in and then I magnetize it for the 45 seconds. I think on Pestilence, this the magnet particles in this were really, really pretty. I actually really liked how my macro shots came out for it. The background kind of looks almost kind of brownish, almost earthy. Um, like I said, these are all in a black tinted base, but perhaps it was the green particles. I'm not sure. But this one just felt super, super neutral and earthy to me. Um, I think it would be fantastic for a Halloween or a fall Manny. I mean, that goes for any of these, um, as they are September releases. But this one just really just screamed neutral, foresty, forest sprite type of feel to me. I didn't have any texture after top coat on this one either. And once again, I am going in with a glossy quick dry top coat, Seche, if you are curious which exact one I'm using. The green and the purple flecks in here really, really contrast nicely. And once again, you're seeing tons of movement here. The quartet and the Halloween limited edition are both available currently in Supernatural Lacquer's shop. They are $11.50 each or $42 for the set if you choose to get the horseman. The Halloween limited edition is $12.75, and like I said, they're all available right now. Um, I do have links for the Facebook fan group if you'd like to check out any additional sneak peeks or the other wonderful bloggers and swatchers who worked on these. Highly recommend checking them out, and I hope that my very lengthy <laughs> explanation of how I'm doing these magnetics 
kind of help anybody who needs um, a little bit of assistance with getting them to work. The neodymium bar magnets are also going to be in the shop. They're a dollar each, and I think the bar magnets are a really good place to start if you're new to magnetic nail polish. If you liked what you watched, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.